Today we're talking about tips for sellers and homeowners that will add big value to your home if you are considering selling. Stick around. It's J-Dub, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a global real estate advisor. Why is that? Well, I began buying apartment buildings back in the early 90s. I managed 20, 30, 40 unit apartment buildings, and I bought my own with my brother-in-law down in San Clemente, California back in 1996. We ended up owning quite a few different properties, sold those in early 2000s. I moved my wife and I to Costa Rica. I became a master franchiser for Coldwell Banker Master Franchise, owned my own franchise, was a luxury sales specialist. We had 13 offices, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the reason I want to talk about that, today's market, there's a lots of sellers who need to sell their property. And it's a seller's market here in August of 2020. But some of the homes that don't sell, is there, there's a common thread. And what I want to talk to you about today is the tips for sellers and homeowners that will help you get maximum value from your property. And specifically today, I want to talk about the bathroom. So stick around for that. So if you could, please, if you want to learn more about maybe Costa Rica or California or here in Delray Beach, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know what things you like or don't like about my channel. And if you want to learn more about maybe Costa Rica or I happen to own an island in Panama. If you want to learn about Panama, I can do a video for that too. Just let me know here. Okay, so let's jump into bathrooms. Every day I go to homes, I look at properties, I look at their bathrooms and I go, my gosh, there's so many ways to upgrade and make them fresh. So there's small things that are a small amount of money that you can you know, get your money back. It's a double return. It's a two X if you want to look at it that way. So what my wife and I did on our property, actually my wife did it, not me. I kind of do the backyard stuff. So hey, I'm going to give my wife credit on this. We, we bought our house uh, two years ago and the house had new tile, but it was brown tile. Uh, you can see in the photos here, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of photos to go through here. It was just basic, kind of boring, but it was clean. And over two years, we wanted to make a pop to our bathroom. So what she did is we, she went out and bought these vinyl stickers. She spent weeks looking at websites like Howes and different websites looking at new design ideas that she could do to match the gray theme. That we want to do a beachy theme in our house using grays, some blues, and make it bohemian style. And what she wanted to do is make our bathroom floor pop. So she bought these stickers with really cool design, as you can see. And to do the whole bathroom, the cost was less than $225. She did it herself. It only took her a whole weekend, which was total about maybe eight to 10 hours of preparation and laying it down. But as you can see, it went from a brown, a kind of a boring brown, to the floor just pops. It makes the whole room brighten up. We've had people come over and take a look at the house and the first thing they're like, man, oh man, that's gorgeous. What'd you guys do? It was very, very simple. So for $225 and a little bit of weekend labor, you can make your bathroom sparkle and jump out. The other thing she did was we had the same tiles around the bathroom tub and the bathroom shower area. Some of you may not have that. Some of you may have tile that you, in the shower area that you'd like to upgrade. So we purchased some Rust-Oleum paint, which the odor on the stuff is unbelievably strong. But again, it took a three coats to go through the entire shower installation area of our tile paint and it went from the brown boring stuff to just a white pop. So the white with the bluish vinyl stickers that we have now is spectacular. So if you are thinking about doing some upgrades to your bathroom, the amount of money to do it is very, very minimal. The labor is a weekend here, a weekend there. It's very, very easy work and it's not technical either. And as you can see, I went out and even bought a little cabinet that goes on the wall for additional storage space. I upgraded also the, the faucet because we have chrome mirror and chrome uh, features throughout. We bought the chrome uh, faucet feature, which now makes it sparkle and pop. So the total outlay for this bathroom was, was less than $400 in materials. And I think the total amount of time that my wife spent, not me, was about two to three weekends of work. So about four to five days of work in there to make our bathroom go from blah to bam. 
and we're doing the same thing for my daughter's bathroom, which is the same thing, uh, and it's gonna make a huge difference. So for those of you who are looking to sell your property or to make a big difference in room by room and specifically your bathrooms, the investment is small, the time for you to do it does not take a lot, and you don't need to hire it out because it's not technical stuff. You can do this, and the return on your investment and your time is going to be crazy when you go to sell your house. Hope you enjoy. So that was just a quick little tip for folks looking to sell their properties and homeowners who want to make a big splash to their bathroom. If you liked today's tips, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know if you liked it. Send me some comments. Maybe you've done some things to yours that have thought different. I would love to share that with my subscribers and my audience. So leave me a comment. Let me know things you like about that. I'm gonna come back with some more tips over the next few weeks on kitchen, patio, backyard, just some things that you can do that are very small investment of time and money that make a big bang to your property. Thanks, we'll see you soon.